Hey, everybody. Hope you are doing well. Okay, so um, the few Paramore videos that I've done have gotten some uh, positive feedback, which I think is interesting. Um, again, this is a first time listen for me, but a viewer suggested the song Last Hope. So we're going to give it a shot. All right. So um, here is Paramore's song Last Hope. Let's see what this one's about. Okay, let's go. I don't even know myself at all. I thought I would be happy by now. The more I try to push it, I realize gotta let go of control. Gotta let
Well, that was interesting. Um, so this song definitely has more pop sensibility to it, and I could totally see this. I mean, it would have had the potential for um, sort of popular radio airplay if it wasn't just a tick over five minutes long. We all know about, yeah, and I've and I've said it a dozen times in other videos that the you know the record industry today, the radio industry today, really. Um, with the exception of paid for pay for play radio services, uh, you know, streaming services, um, you know, broadcast radio, uh, they d they don't want to put anything out there that's more than four minutes long. They just don't. And so um, this being what five oh nine, I think, we'll call it five oh five oh five, might be just a little bit long for sort of typical radio airplay. But there's a lot of standard sort of pop sensibilities to it if you think about the um the changes in the song the chord changes in the song um the intervals um her voice is phenomenal it really is it's a really really beautiful voice um i don't know why the band gives me uh letters to cleo vibes um if you've seen the, if you've seen the movie uh, 10 things i hate about you You've seen Letters to Cleo, okay? Um, with that said, it's obviously not exactly the same, uh, but I just there's a vibe there that I kind of get from that. Um, again, this has a lot. I mean, I, I love the fact that it's not just a just a typical drop D, chunky, you know, modern. <sighs> I don't know. I just, it's not your typical noise fest um, that that some songs can be. A lot of bands that play in drop D, they just have that same, you know, chunk, 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 chunk kind of vibe to it. And some of the other Paramore songs that I've listened to have had that feeling to it. And I like the feeling of this, that there's just a little bit more of an evolved sensibility to it. And uh, again, uh, her vocals are, are fantastic. I like the message of the song too, um, the actual lyrical message. I think it's very, very interesting. Uh, just, you know, just the sense of let life come to you, which, um, you know, it's going to happen and, you know, you just have to let it happen. Um, there are things you can do, there are choices you can make, there are decisions that can be um, questioned uh for everybody's life but in the grand scheme of things you know you can't control other people you can control yourself so just sort of let life happen and make the right decisions you know choose choose you know at certain forks in the road you're going to have a left fork and a right fork and a middle fork and you're going to have choices to make and you know just try to make the the choices that are best suited for you know you but also for you know bear in mind other people you know cause and effect happens okay you may choose something for you and it could ruin the lives of other people so it's just you know try to weigh everything out but let life happen and you know try to enjoy life you know don't try to dictate life try to enjoy life um with that said thanks for watching i appreciate the suggestion i think it was a very very cool song now somebody's decided to use a saw behind me so i'm going to cut this short please feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and we can talk about it further okay i wish you all well and take care bye